Hello, this is Rachel from the Foster Way Homestead. Happy Mother's Day! Today we're going to be setting up cattle panels to use as trellises for vertical gardening and for supports for tomatoes. This is what I wanted to do for Mother's Day. It's very simple, but it should help me with my garden this year. We already have some set up for tomatoes and for cucumbers, but I had the cucumber set up in the row that I now need to add more for tomatoes. So we're moving those and we're gonna set up some more for tomatoes, ground cherries, and cucumbers. As many of you may not know, my husband and I have four children. We have Noah, who is eight. We have Carly, who is three. We have Harper, who will be two in July. And we have Piper, who will be one in just a couple of weeks. We have been foster parents for several years and have fostered a lot of children and we've adopted through the foster care system as well. So Daniel and I are spending some time together working on this today while the little girls nap. Thankfully they all nap together which is very nice so that we can get things done during nap time. And this morning they made me brunch. Daniel made me a sweet little picture frame of the kids and I got this new hat so I have something to wear in the garden to keep the sun off my face. Daniel just used a post setter to get those T posts in there good. And then we'll take this 8 inch piece of cattle panel and we'll put it up on the T post about 12 to 18 inches off the ground. And then he'll attach it with little metal clips. We used some zip ties for these other ones. We haven't clipped that off yet. And we were gonna do that for these two, but we couldn't find them and we just needed to get this done quickly. So we're using the metal clips that came with the T-posts. What are you using the string for? Make it, make sure it's level. Is that like a mark? Yep. Learning from the other ones. Yep. <laughs> Too bad you don't have anybody standing out here with you to hold it. I know. <laughs> Where the zip tie is easier than those things.
beautiful. so nice out. Uh -huh. Nice temperature, a little breeze. So he's just taking down the one we already had up because that was set up for cucumbers and we want to set up, set them up differently for the tomatoes in that row. So he has to remove the panel, remove the posts and set the posts again back a little bit. We were doing it to where in the tomato rows, the posts were about six inches off of the end of, or the side of the, the row that's about 30 inches wide give or take. <laughs> okay. Nothing we do is ever going to be perfect, but it should work for us. We do things the foster way, right Daniel? Yep. <laughs> I think you take pride in that. Huh? So I think you take pride in that. <laughs> So now I want to add another one of these panels into the middle of this row. So we'll have two of them be tomatoes and one of them will be for ground cherries. So we're just trying to get it in the middle as much as possible. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't really care. I mean, who am I kidding? My, my OCD will take care of her and I might care. But once all the tomato plants are grown up, it won't matter. That panel he's putting up right there is going to be for my ground cherries. I'm so excited about those. I'm hoping that it'll be something that the kids will want to come down and pick and grab and get them interested in snacking from the garden. We got the cattle panels and the T-posts needed to hold them up to support them. Uh, from Tractor Supply, you can get them from Co-op, you can get them from really any farm and garden store. Um, Tractor Supply sells them in 16 foot panels. That's what we got originally and then Daniel used bolt cutters in the parking lot and cut them in half in order to put them on the roof of our Jeep to take home because at that time we didn't have any other way to bring them home. So he cut them in half and then when he went there the last, this last time to buy more for uh, the tomatoes that we're going to plant. Um, they already sold them in eight foot sections, so he bought three of those instead of cutting them in the parking lot. It was like a dollar difference. It didn't really make a big deal. And this is part of the problem of living where we do. Our little town's name is Rockvale, and there's a reason why Rock is in the name. <laughs> we found so many rocks in here. There we go. I planted sunflowers along the back row here. There's this little one up. You can see that it still has the shell on it. So a little trick that you can do 
is you can wet your fingers, you can lick them, dip them in water, whatever you have. Get it a little wet and then just easily, gently peel the seed off. So the seed there. And then that way it's able to open up all the way. My wonderful husband got all of them set up. I'm so thankful for him and his ability and his willingness to do what I want basically with my garden and help support my goals and my dreams with it. So let me take you up here and we can see what's done. You step over I have some zucchini and squash and beans that thankfully survived the frost warning. So we have this one here set up for the cucumbers and we just set it down on the ground. They don't have to grow super tall. And then we have the same over there for cucumbers. And those I'll train to climb. And then the middle part here I'm going to set up, I'm going to plant a bush variety in the metal here. This row behind it will have, well there's four rows of tomatoes. And in the center there will be for ground cherries. And then I have my beautiful pepper plants inside that I'm going to plant in these empty spaces. If we look at the other end of the garden, like I said, we have beans here, squash, zucchini. I have another row that I'm planning on doing all okra. And then the last row will be for corn. You decide to join us finally? Were you having fun playing PlayStation? Yeah. Yeah, I love you. Me too. You having a good Mother's Day? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about these cattle panels Daddy set up? Don't step in these rows, okay? They have vegetables. He set these up for cucumbers and tomatoes and ground cherries. You're gonna like these ground cherries. They're like little, they look like little tomatoes, but they're not. They're real sweet, like candy-ish. So you can come out here and just pick them and eat them right off the vine. That would be cool. That would be cool? Good. I love you. You're the boy that first made me mom, huh? Yep. We got that all set up today. We're gonna go inside, relax for a little bit, and then order some Mexican food. I'm excited about that. There's a local Mexican restaurant I've been wanting to try. You want some Mexican food? Yeah. Some tacos? <laughs> Taco. I mentioned that our family were, was foster parents before and adopted parents, and I'll get into more of that in some other videos. <laughs> And I'll also, once all the vegetables are starting to grow some, I'll be doing some garden tours. And show you what all we're growing and what we're harvesting. Are you going to try everything from Mommy's Garden? Maybe. <laughs> Say bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>